We return to the U.S. Open. Our Vera Gibbons is standing by with Tennis Channel CEO Ken Solomon. Vera? This is a pretty good gig here, Mark. Yeah, we talked about earlier in the day about the 700,000 or so who will be attending the U.S. Open live over the course of two weeks, but millions more are going to be watching the tournaments from the comfort of their home. For that, we are joined by Ken Solomon. He's the chairman and CEO of the Tennis Channel. Thank you for coming on. Couldn't be more happy to be here on Bloomberg. So you, the, the Tennis Channel was launched more than six years ago, yeah. but the U.S. Open, this is new, brand spanking new. This what, do you, is, this what are you hoping to get out of it? Well, deal? this is a big thing. We were here two years ago talking to you, and we were beginning to assemble our strategy. And today, having the crown jewel, yes. the fourth of all four Grand Slams added to our 70 tournament lineup is sort of indescribable important. As you said, three quarters of a million people will come through here. Tens and tens of million will watch on our air around the clock on Tennis Channel over the over the next two weeks. And the use of the U.S. Open is the creme de la creme. It is, you know, certainly in United States tennis, there is it's indescribable. It's the largest annually attended sporting event in the world. And for us to be a major part of it, exclusively in prime time on Saturday and Sunday night, and with all we're doing, really is the capstone on top of a strategy that's taken us about five or six years to really get into place, which is pretty fast in the in terms of the uh, cable television business. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Cablevision, the dominant cable operator in New York. They've got about 3 million subscribers. You were back and forth with them for a couple of years, a lot of mudslinging. Yeah. Where do you stand now? Are you going to re go back and talk to them again about doing something with them down the line? Well, the good news is we're not alone. This is sort of a rite of passage for anybody in the tri-state area. They know that Cablevision is a tough customer. Our model is built, predicated on the notion that tennis, which is the most democratized sport in the world, and certainly in the United States, ought to be available widely and for free to subscribers. And so for the last four years, we've been able to go from 3.5 million homes to 55 million here without forcing people to pay extra. Cablevision wants subscribers to have to pay extra. We think that's wrong. They only want to display it to about 3% of their whole universe, about 90,000 out of 3 million. We'd like to see at least 50% of their universe get it, and we don't want to see Cablevision charging extra. So we're going to fight it out for the subscriber. We think they're paying enough already, yeah, they are, right. and they don't need to pay for other sports. Why should they have to pay for their U.S. Open tennis and the other tournaments? Never left. There was a, there was a bit of a standoff with Cablevision, which probably illustrates the challenges you're having as a small company versus the big media companies you're up against. Yeah, I think you're aware that. of that. It's tough being an independent. I mean, this is sort of the American way. There, there was a void in the market. There was an absence of tennis. The tennis fans, the most beat up in all of television, the television world, because either it wasn't on or you didn't know where to find it. And we're kind of like the Food Network or the Travel Channel of the tennis world. We've got the entire sport, all 70 tournaments from January right through to December on one network. Talk about your subscriber base because it's been growing. It's been growing like gangbusters. Yes. What, what is your what is your growth strategy? Well, the growth strategy is to just keep on going up. It's as simple as that. And you know, if we put Martina Navratilova, Jimmy Connors, Bill McAtee, and all the other great announcers that we have throughout the year in front of the best players in the world in high definition and surround it with the great lifestyle programming that's unique to tennis, that growth strategy will happen on its own. You know, tennis is the only sport where 50% of the audience is women, so that's completely unique. And we put those things together, and it's a recipe for success. Excellent. Thanks, Ken. Ken Solomon from the Tennis Channel. Mark, back to you. Vera Gibbons at the U.S. Open. Vera, thanks.